Hello, my name is Stephanie, and I'm an adult literacy librarian with LA County Library. I use she, her, hers pronouns. I'm going to tell you a bit about terms you may have heard and want a little more information on. This information can help you better understand yourself, the people in the queer community you may be part of, or people you want to be a better ally with. While the information presented has been researched prior to recording, language is constantly evolving and people have their own manner for how they want to be referred to. If you are ever unsure, there are countless resources to help guide your learning. The LGBTQ Center Long Beach, the Los Angeles LGBT Center, the Trevor Project, and even your local LA County Library staff can help you find current and accurate information. All of these resources are linked in the description. Terms we're going to define today are gender, sexuality, gender identity, and gender expression. Gender focuses on what characteristics, behaviors, norms, and roles society gives to biological differences to classify a person as a man, woman, or another identity. It can be fundamentally different from or aligned with the sex one is assigned at birth. If it aligns, that person is often referred to as being cisgender. Someone whose sex assigned at birth differs from their lived gender might be transgender, non-binary, or gender non-conforming. Gender is shaped by cultural and social forces. For example, pink and blue are seen as gender signifiers. Through our cultural experiences, we often gender pink as feminine or for girls, and blue as masculine or for boys. Perception of gender and culture changes over time, which we know because historically, pink has been used for boys and blue for girls. While gender is influenced by outside forces, an individual's gender identity is an internal personal experience. A person's gender may not necessarily be obvious to others, depending on the way a person chooses to express their gender. Gender is about one's inner concept of self as masculine, feminine, a blend of both, another gender, or none at all. Gender expression refers to an individual's presentation as it is visible to others. The way in which a person chooses to communicate their identity through clothing, hairstyle, makeup, behaviors, voice, etc. within a given culture. We might assume a person's gender based on these attributes, but these assumptions, based perceptions, may not reflect a person's actual gender. A person's name and pronouns are a common way to express gender. For example, using they, them, their pronouns can be a gender neutral and inclusive way to address gender nonconforming, transgender, and non-binary folks. A person's name and pronouns do not always reflect their gender, though. Sexuality encompasses a person's biological sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, sexual practices, and romantic attractions. For that reason, sexuality can be dynamic and ever-changing for some. It is rooted in an individual's normal development, therefore, Every person's expression and understanding of their sexuality will be unique to them. Individuals may choose to label their sexuality by using one or more terms to describe their sexual orientation. Terms such as queer, heterosexual, homosexual, asexual, bisexual, pansexual, or demisexual can help people label their sexuality. But remember, it's always important to use the labels pronouns, and the names that a person tells you to use. If you're interested in learning more, please visit any of the links in the description or check out your local library. Don't forget to stop by the LA County Library Pride page to check out our regularly updated site of videos, live programs, activity ideas, and book lists all created and curated for the queer community and interested allies. Please subscribe to LA County Library's YouTube page to stay up to date on all the videos we put out. Bye for now.